What's up guys, we're back here on Black Ops Cold War Multiplayer for the first time in a little bit. And the mace finally dropped here towards the end of Season 4, so we need to go ahead and get a Dark Matter. And I've already gone ahead and picked up the bundle. I was going to get a Dark Aether first, but I need levels on this thing. So we're going to take it into multiplayer and see how it goes. And also while we're here, here's the class that I use for most of my melee setups. I have uh, MP5 as my primary. We don't really use it. It's only there to take out trophy systems. Now I go with Double Smoke, Double Tomahawk with the Danger Close Wild Card, Field Mike, Tack Mask, Quarter Master, and Ninja. And they're still not just Nuketown 24-7. This is going to be bad. I guess I can do it in 6v6. But if you are new here, what we do is we go ahead, we grab the new weapon, take it into our first game. I show you guys my first impressions with it. Then I'll grind it all the way to Dark Matter, showing you guys the highlights. If I can, I'm still in my mobile setup, so we'll see how that works. Then I'll show you guys my first game with it, Dark Matter. I'll give you my impressions of the weapon after completing it and all that good stuff. So a lot to do here. Let's go ahead and hop in. All right, here we are. First game with the mace. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> get knifed apparently i haven't checked on what the multiplayer challenge is for this i will after this Ooh, but we're already going in with it a quick double and we get knocked out i gotta i gotta get back on the groove of playing multiplayer Ooh, it does have a really nice swing speed that's good they didn't make it slow and sluggish but not that big of a, a swing area it looks like i went right past them there Ooh, tomahawks are gonna be tough to do on a controller no oh ooh, come here that's awful. All right, normally melee weapons are my bread and butter, but I'm playing on a controller. I don't really play on controller, so I got to get my sea legs a little bit. Ooh, and there we go. We got our first camo in our first game and a quick double. Ooh, could have had a triple there. What? There we go. Please. Thank you. Ooh, this is getting tough. Oh, wait, no, it's not. We're crazy. Quick triple. Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. Let's go. Oh, oh. Let's go! Quick seven times? What are you doing up here? Come here. Oh, nine times. No, we swung too early on that one. We could have had a quick 10. I'm gonna see if I can tomahawk somebody on controller really quick. No, I don't have the reactions with my right my right stick. There's two with the shotguns not playing around. Oh no, he meleeed me. How am I missing these? Do smoke grenades just completely negate controller? That could be a problem for me. My whole melee strat is throw smokes and hit them while I can't while they can't see me. Oh, there we go. All right, we keep getting killed every time we step foot down there. We're gonna try to roam around up here a little bit. There we go. Oh, it's working. Uh oh, I fell down. No. Oh, I got the tomahawk though. Quick trade. We take those. But I did die the second my feet touched the ground down there. It's cursed. Bonked them. Ooh, who else wants one? This guy right here. Yeah, got him. Oh, we lost, but we went 22 and 27. Not awful for my first time playing with a melee weapon on controller. Did we get play of the game? Nope. All right, so it looks like the unlock challenge for this is using a melee weapon, get a kill while sliding in 15 different completed matches. They're really just like do one thing in an entire game 15 times. So that's a whole afternoon. I'm glad I still had counter points in my account to buy the bundle. Let's go ahead and check out the cameras and see if there's anything different. It looks like it's still just 75 kills. Not bad. 25 backstabber. Also not that bad. 25 finishing moves. Pretty fun. Kill enemies while injured. Not bad. 50 kills while sliding could be a problem for me. I'm not used to sliding on controller. 50 kills while they're disoriented by smoke, flash, or stun. Not awful. And double kills. Okay, so this the challenges for this are pretty easy. Hopefully I can get it done, but we will see you guys when I do get this thing dark matter.
All right, we're back. And as you can see from that last clip, we did get the Mace Dark Matter. And now I think the hardest challenge for me throughout this whole thing was the sliding one. For whatever reason, I can't seem to get kills while sliding with a melee weapon. It just feels clunky. It feels like my swing misses far and away every time I slide. It could just be a me thing. I definitely slide around to get movement on people to get around things, you know, juke people out. But sliding towards people has always been a struggle for me with melee weapons. I don't know why. But besides that, pretty easy grind, honestly. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I was expecting it to, but that might just because there was no nuke town. Uh, I was playing 66 face off for the entire duration of my grind. Well, overall, not bad. Now let's go ahead and check out what this thing looks like with a mastery camo. I don't know how we're going to see it with th this gunsmith, but the, here's what part of it looks like in gold. Here's what part of it looks like in diamond and what part of it looks like in dark matter I'll, I'll definitely be able to get a better look in game but i'm gonna go ahead and throw dark matter on it i do have a blueprint on for this look at look at this thing in the gunsmith this is ridiculous why isn't it laying across right here what are they doing like i was saying i do have the blueprint for this because i didn't want to go through and unlock it then grind it i already had cob points in the account so why not use them but we do have the default one so i'm gonna go ahead and use that for this game throw dark matter on it oh you can see it so much better here is it just a blueprint okay well let me show you the camera one more time dark matter diamond that actually looks so good and gold very well-rounded actually i think the diamond definitely looks the best diamond always has the best coverage out of anything but looks good they really need to fix the blueprint orientation <laughs> oh see they did it here come on but also uh since the first game i i really feel like i can't play on controller with melee weapons so i have been using keyboard and mouse i'm still on my mobile setup so it's really weird to play like this i have like right now my mic is on top of a table that's on top of another table so i'm sticking my arm through the legs here i just knocked over a can but uh, i think we're gonna try to creed this out and play with my arms wide open right across this whole desk so hopefully there isn't too much background noise or anything while i'm playing but the gameplay will definitely be better so let's just go ahead and hop into it sick i'm glad i joined this game literally still loading in and we lost oh wait hold on this guy's going crazy Ooh, the two streak the three the four what a madman. He hit five on him. Is he not done? He's not done. They should not have ended the phase five because that guy definitely would have made it in. All right, we finally got into a game. Let's try to see what this thing looks like. Can I get into some better lighting? Oh, perfect. All right. It looks... <laughs> Actually, I really can't even see it that well. Let's go over here. I think out here is probably decent to look at. Ooh, that thing's shining. <laughs> that guy had such a hard time trying to kill me. I'm just sitting there inspecting it. One more look. So you really get a nice long look at the top there. Don't take that out of context, but I think the weapon looks really good. Now let's make it look even better gameplay wise. I really thought that Tomahawk was about to bounce off the car and kill this man. I said, let's make this look better gameplay wise and I just end up dying 80 times. Hold on. There we go. Cracked him over the head with it. See the swing speed on this? Pretty good. I didn't really fall into a whole lot of traps of where I'm getting killed because it swings too slow, like uh, the sledgehammer or something like that. It honestly felt good. The swings, you can swing fast, but it, it, you swing for a long time, if that makes sense. Like, like once you throw it out, it, it feels like if they're not like right in front of you, you're not hitting them. I don't know what the hell that was. Ooh, like right there. That was the perfect example of me sliding, thinking I should hit somebody and I don't. Like, I, I always thought the hitboxes were clunky on a lot of these, like, larger melee weapons. Like, I know they don't want to give them too much range or anything. Like, sometimes it looks like you're actually going to hit somebody with this and then you fall, you miss far and away. Like, it's so off. And I'm making this thing look awful right now. We got off to such a slow start. All right, we, we need to step it up, like, right now. I am getting destroyed, though. <laughs> I'm 4 and 17. Uh, a few of those deaths were me trying to inspect. At this point, I have no excuses. I have no idea how either of those missed. And this game's already, like, over. I have five kills if this game's over. Hold on. Oh, are you kidding me? The one Tommy I was gonna hit? There we go. Smoke this out. Throw down that. Ooh, there we go. There we go. At least get a, a mini feed. If anything, we need something to show for this game. And that's the whole thing, eight and 20. I don't think my score is any reflection of this weapon. I think it's actually pretty decent. It's not the best melee weapon. I think the E-Tool holds that, but it's also not the worst. Like right, even in the kill cam, I'm right in front of him and the mace just like stops right before it's supposed to hit him. 
It's definitely mid-tier, if not high mid-tier, but the gameplay obviously is not doing any justice. I think these clips that I'm going to put in here are definitely going to show what you can do with it. But overall, it's a fun weapon. I think every melee weapon is fun in this game. Uh, I really just like tomahawking and just messing people up. All right, now I went ahead and hopped into a custom match so we can actually get a nice, decent look at this. And it is really good. The inspect on this is perfect. You actually look at every inch of this camo even spin it around a bit to see the different angles of it. So I think they did a really good job on camo coverage on this. The one thing I do wish, and this is just for all DM Ultra weapons, is that they had some sort of unique handle like Diamond does, but it covers basically all you see in game. So that's pretty good. Overall, fun weapon, fun grind, good camo coverage. But I think that's where I'm going to end this video. If you guys like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And I need to go get this dark aether, so I'll see you guys next time. Later.